So I want to share a testimony, my friend and I's in particular. See, if you're like me, you might be prone in your relationships and friendships to act counter to the implications of the gospel. And here's what I mean by this. By default, our nature says, like, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It's how our world works. I'll give you this job, you prove yourself to me. You give me a gift, I feel compelled naturally to do something in return, not the gospel. Salvation is not something you achieve by doing good or by refraining from doing bad. Your good deeds compared to your bad deeds. Your moral excellence compared to your character lapses. is all washed out, done away with, by someone else's moral perfection that has come to you. It's a good thing, too. If not, you'd be utterly screwed. Because the standard is really high. And your insufficiency is indescribably great. The gospel is... In Jesus, I'll do everything for you. You don't do a thing for me. I did the work. I accomplished it. You're free. Be free. This freedom compels obedience. Not because you fear being enough, but because you already know you are enough. So in the area of friendship, I struggle. I struggle with this complex. I want to be a good enough friend to make sure I'm doing enough. Am I too busy? Did I ignore him or her? Am I available enough? and I struggled with one of my good friends, Jerison. All those questions, not the gospel. So what happened? Conflict happened. Saying one thing, feeling another, dishonest expressions, passionless voices. It's heard in the, the tone of one's voice, written on one's face. It's like you're trying to do the right thing, but your heart just doesn't believe it. So something festers beneath the surface. Often frustration, and selfishness. I hate that feeling of not being okay with another person until something happened, until I believed the gospel again, until I believed its implications again. See, here's what the gospel says. I don't have to be a good enough friend to Jerison. I don't. I can fail him. I can make mistakes. I can be so not enough because, because the gospel says what makes me feel okay in my relationship to God is not on the basis of how good of a friend I am to Jerison. It's not based on our relational excellence. It's not based on my perfect response to him. It's based on the unity of Christ that holds us together as brothers. His perfection, his grace, his forgiveness that we can offer each other. Now that's gospel. So I'll leave you with this. The irony is anything outside of a gospel-centered motivation is dangerous. See, if I'm motivated out of wanting to be a good enough friend, wanting to make sure I'm doing enough, relating there, who's at the center of that question? Me. It be an attempt to merit some sort of right standing with God based on relating to my friends. And the difficult part is, it's not loving. It's not truly loving. Because you can't take your eyes off of yourself to be free to see their real need. I'm learning this daily. I hope you can too. So ask yourself, in what situations? Exactly how am I not applying the gospel to my life? What distortion of the gospel am I living? And how can I move back toward a gospel-saturated story?